This is the work energy theorem experiment. Here are the little cars. This is the little car that I talked about. Um, and if you just pull it back, you load the mechanism, and as you can see, if you pick it up, it'll release the potential energy as kinetic energy. Okay, so if I just put it down without doing that, I get no motion. So I have to do work to get kinetic energy. So what I have here is the car and the motion detector. The motion detector is hooked up to the computer and it will give us a velocity time and a distance time graph. So what I'm going to do is turn the motion detector on, then I'm going to do the work on the car and let it go. So I turn it on. Here's the graphs we obtained from this run of the little car. The top graph, which is a red graph, shows a simple position time graph, and you can see that the car simply went away from the motion detector. Okay? As a matter of fact, it didn't even barely go a meter and a half. The bottom graph is the more important graph. It started off here at zero, and as the car left, it sped up to its maximum kinetic energy. Right here, the maximum kinetic energy was equal to the potential energy at the beginning, which was in turn equal to the work that I did on the car. That's your work energy theorem. The rest, right here, is simply friction bringing the car to a stop. And Notice it stopped in the same location that it started in. 